Hello, this is Gmodism Gmod Notary Channel, and I have been asked by a sus subscriber to make a ACF tank. And I'm actually not very good at building ACF tanks, so we will be making a very basic ACF tank. And this ACF tank will use uh, uh, wire. We won't use expression 2. We will just wire it up, and it will be really, really simple and, well, easy to make and kind of quite good I hope. So let's um, find a base plate to build on. So plates as props we will use as props. If you don't have as props you should kind of have as props because um, yeah most people that build on ACF servers or have ACF servers use as props so you should also have as props basically and it's good with as props. Transportation. We need to find a good wheel. So let's uh, just decide for a wheel model. I don't know. That maybe. Let's spawn this wheel model. We will have five of them on each side. Like there. Then we will be going to precision tool. Um, it's easier this way, I promise you. No collide. Check that. Yeah. Snap distance one, move. It, we should only move them. So, they look uh, the same on both sides. Oh, no, I kind of pushed it, random. Uh, press E. I have a smart snap, that's why I get this grid. And I can rotate them, like there. And I've already checked. It, uh, yeah. You can manually put in the right snap distances you want, but, uh, well, on this one we actually have the right amount of snap distances. So, and now this side. It's good if, there are, uh, if they are exact. If you do um, this like exactly as I do, you will have a tank that will work as this one does. So um, just hang on. If you skip parts you might uh, lose important content just so you know. So um, if there is something that uh, doesn't work for you make sure you have watched the whole tutorial. I recommend you. So. Now we want to have this uh, plate a bit higher up, so we, as we only move them, we didn't access, we just moved them, we can do like this. Freeze it on. Okay. Now you can make accesses by this regular access tool, then you would right click on this, like base plate, and then right click on that one. And then you would have access. However, I won't do that. I want to use uh, no axis center because that's a better axis. Uh, just remove the friction like this one. This you use the other way around, and you don't have to be precise where you press the axis. Like the right side of the wheel, you must press on. Like that. Now we have accesses on all of them. However, this place, uh, this plate, uh, our base plate, is too light. Um, put that at uh, 3000, and we have 3000. 3 tons base plate. The wheels are 100, and that's okay. They are 100 by default, these S prop wheels. And we will be making this very simple, so we won't use anything uh, advanced. However, we will probably be needing two engines, and we will use this 15-liter uh, uh, I-4 diesel. And that's only because I haven't made anything with them, because, um, well, I don't usually build very much tanks, um, and these I-4 engines are very good, these large engines, I mean, are very good for tanks. So, well... It's kind of weird to have this engine in a car. It's just super weird. Let's straighten this up like that. 
just uh, no collide these. So we can place them where we want to. Well, we should be placing them the same way. It's better. Somewhere around there. Now we want to go to the ACF menu again. And we want to go to gearboxes. Here we want to have a transfer case. Yes, transfer case large. We need two of them. They're actually only 80 kilos, so that's nice. However, uh, now you need to check this. Gear 1, positive. Gear 2, negative. Gear 10, one, uh, 0 0.1. So it's uh, quite geared down. They are 1 by default, so you need to change that. These also, we're going to no collide. Like that, by right clicking. And we be placing them like this, kind of quite close to each other, kind of there, so they are near the wheels, or in line with the wheels. We want to weld them all to this base plate, so there, let's just check it all. Yes. Now we want to link stuff up. ACF menu. Right click first engine. And then like this one gearbox. Now you have to be careful of linking all the engines to all the gearboxes. Oops. We already hit that once. Yeah. There it is. No. Oh. Like that. And this to the right engine, and this to the left one. Okay, so now they should be linked up. Now, um, we should be choosing a seat. So we choose this ACF um, standard pilot seat. It's a bit heavier, uh, so it's a bit tougher to uh, take damage. But you can take damage in them, so you still need to protect yourself. Anyhow, we will be going to our wire menu, and as, as I said, we will be using wire, not expression 2. Or expression 2 is a part of wire, but we won't be using the expression 2. For making it more, well, simple to understand and build. So, we just already linked that. Now it's linked, yes. And... We want to go to gates. That is, um, this gate we won't use now. Just spawn this large gate here. Oops. Or somewhere. This is our parenting gate. We will parent stuff to that gate. Because uh, you want to parent things to a gate, because uh, parent tool works in a weird way. Um, if you parent ACF armor to another prop, the ACF warm armor won't take any bullets. But if you are, if you parent them to a gate, they will take bullets. It's just weird. It's that. It's how it works, anyways. So do that. Anyways, constant value, three values. Number one should be one. Number two should be two, and number three should be hundred. Oops, not Q, not S, whoa, 100, regularly 100, okay. Um, we just placed that there. And we now want to have lots of gates. Gates, okay, absolute. Um, add, I mean, add. We're going to have this large and uh, pedagogical pedagogic uh, gate there this resembles the two gearboxes so now we want to have multiply gates to stair and this might look weird but it isn't this is the forward gate and this is the backward gate and this is the steering gates for each side of the tracks or wheels tracks whatever 
Now, we are going to change gears in another way than you usually do. We want to add gear to add gate. Make sure you connect the right engine to the right gear. So gear this. No, not the right engine to the right gear. The right gearbox to the right gate. Because uh, now we have touched this gates enough. We will only be using this gate for that gearbox and this gate for that gearbox. So now these are multiply gates and that's what we need. And we will have A to backwards, B to forwards. Or basically, it doesn't matter in which order, you just want to pass uh, all these to the backward and forward gates. Now, C and D should be connected to each side. I will explain in a second why. Now, we also want to have another gate because we uh, didn't spawn a throttle gate for some reason. So um, let's choose another. This is our throttle gate. Yeah, um, just wire this up. Activate to activate. Okay, throttle to our throttle gate. A, 200, B, to, uh, let's choose a nice button, say space. Now you see, we want to have our forward gate, should be A on value 1, B on W. Our backwards gate, A on value 2, B on blah, S button. Because now it will be so, we will either have, when, when we have press W, this will have the value of 1, which will make these gearboxes put in forward gear. And when we press S, it will have value of 2, and it will press in the, well, backwards gear. And now you probably can guess how the steering works. We won't be able to steer as we same time as we go forward, it will be very tanky. So, now I press W. I hold W, and now I press space. And you know, this doesn't work because we haven't connected up the wheels. Even though, you can see, the wheels are now independent. I forgot this part, I'm sorry. We are just going to do this, and it's really easy. Okay. Now it's important that you select the right gearbox. Okay, this gearbox goes to this wheels, right click. Mm. And this gearbox, right click, goes to this deal. So now these both wheels have, uh, well you can look, here we have connections. And that's it. Now we need to make the other wheels respond. So we will be having our advanced ball socket. You kind of need this. You can theoretically made this by adding a lots of gearboxes on each side, but that's kind of stupid. So, ball socket advanced. It is. Force limit zero, torque limit zero. And here's the weird part. X minimum is positive 180, and X maximum is a negative 180. And you can see all of these are reversed. Maximum is negative, and minimum is maximum. It's, it's the other way around. So all of them are reversed, and friction are zero. Free movement and no collide, and this should really be checked. Free movement must be checked. This uh, setting setup is called slaver settings, and this is why. I press this and this, and now, well, these wheels moves. They are dependent of each other now and you can still move the whole contraption in, well, different directions. Everybody uses this for tanks. So, we have these three wheels are now uh, propelling the vehicle. Uh, the front wheels, we will not correct the two front wheels, they are only support wheels. 
to uh, support our heavy gun we will have later on. Um, I mean this tank. Uh, I, d I don't remember if I said it. We will not make a tank with a turret. We will make a very easy to make, very easy to drive, agile tank that does not use a turret. It might be looking more like a mobile field artillery or something like that. Anyhow, let's get in this and we can see how it works. I press W. Now Gary's in. Now I press space. Now it goes forward. And you know, it sinks down to the ground because we haven't added make spherical. They do that. Um, make spherical makes the wheel a sphere and that's more like a wheel than these uh, are. And you, you, you need to have this. Um, if you don't have make spherical you can't make an ACF vehicles that goes faster than 60 kilometers per hour. I have tried. You really need this. Just press every wheel once and they will be spheres. And now we can try it out again. Okay, I press W. I press space. I press S. I press space. And that's how this works. It's really simple. Isn't that awesome? Now, we will be saving this. Um, you need to save stuff when you build. It's kind of stupid to not. Okay, save. Ta oh, oops. Tank. K. Okay, that's a tank. Excellent. Now, we want to add the quite simple, but a bit tricky to understand sometimes, steering. Okay, so this is a block and this is a block. Be careful when you use this uh, advanced uh, ball socket to not connect these two blocks to these two blocks because this is a block, this is a block. They need to be independent, otherwise steering won't work. So as it is, we will be taking our glorious wire advance tool. This is multiply gates. A to 1 on both of the forward gates. Or, or, the, or the gates that are in the front. And on the back, uh, backwards gates, I call them that, or the gates in the back, we want to connect the value to 2. So these front are 1 these two back are uh, two, value two. So this resembles this block. This resembles this block. And when we press, well, oh, when we want, oh, I, I, I say it the other way around instead. This block needs to go forward when we press D. This block needs to go backwards when we press A. It's steering. This block needs to go forward when we press A. This block needs to go backwards when we press D. And this is the steering setup. This is so simple. And like this, this tank, you can't turn while you're in a speed. But if we could turn while we were in a speed, the tank would be too slow in turning. So we need to have a turret. But that will make things more complex and we want to make a really basic tank. And also, if we have a turret, we might be so that uh, we might get in the side, have an enemy in the side. And this tank is only designed to have enemies in the front. H having enemies in the side or in the back to this tank would be devastating because the armoring of this would be much more advanced. So it will be front armor focused. However, now you can see here. We press A and space. We hold A and space. Now we hold D and space. Now we hold W and space. Now we hold A and space. 
W and space. A and space. W and space. You get it. Like that. Isn't that awesome? We shall be adding a gun. We will have a quite re generally good cannon. We will have an autoloader. So we will be going to ACF menu. We will be going to guns and autoloader. 25mm outloading canning. You can use another cannon if you want, but remember, this has the weight of 2000 kilos. And if you have a lot heavier gun, you need to make everything else more heavy also. So it is. And even might, if you have a much heavier gun, you might need to exchange these two engines with even heavier engines. It's uh, that how it works. It's quite simple. Now we need to choose the right ammo types. Um, we want to choose a generally good ammo type. Um, armor piercing high explosive. And here you need to be careful to choose 25 millimeter auto loader. I want to have a tracer. Uh, propellant length. How about some? It should pack some explosives. Question is um, now we need to check this maximum penetration. It should be at least like that. It's a bit tweaking. Question is can we get it higher? No, we couldn't. Okay, come on. Yes, no, 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 no. This is kind of exact, goddammit. Oh, we had it, we had it. Come on, there. 120 mile, 129 millimeter armor piercing, and it packs some explosives. So, this ammo box is too small. We can't only have 16 shots. Especially not when we only, only have one ammo type. So we want to choose uh, that maybe, 35? Yeah, I think that's enough. While we're holding the tool, link these two together. Um, ammo boxes are the only ACF component that you can parent. So we shall parent this ACF component to the wire gate. We just, we don't want them no clipping through each other. That's kind of uh, if you're going to use this uh, tank as a battling tank on some server, um, you can't no clip ACF components into each other. So you know. Yeah. Let's weld this. No! What do I do? Let's remove that weld. Let's parent it. Do not set weight. That will destroy the whole thing. Just keep it like this. Okay. Now it's parented to the gate. Now we need to set up this gun in somewhere where is the mill? Like there or something. And we want to have it uh, higher up in the air, like there, and a bit more backwards like there. And now you can use regular accesses, but I do recommend that you use axis center because it will find the mass center of this and then make an axis. So left click. Oh, I missed it. Damn it. Let's change tool. Okay, like this. Like this. And now it has an axis in the exact middle. That's why it's balanced. So, now I will show you something cool if you didn't know that. So, press C and you get up the C menu. Um, right click on the gun. Body groups, muscle break and choose a cool... Yeah, cool muscle, basically. And that's basically that. I think it's cool. So, now we want to control the gun. To make this really straight and nice, we can just right click and we missed. And we do it again. And we do it again. And that's enough. Good enough. So, I mean 16. That's good. Press it there. Now, 
we want to be uh, extending this I mean pointing the gun up no pointing the gun down uh, by pressing light light if you didn't know is the F button you know flashlight so light in advanced pod controller is F button R is uh, well R it's reload so we will be controlling this gun by pressing R and F like that. Now we want to wire fire on mouse one activate on activate. There we got it. Now basically the armoring is the only thing that's left but we're going to take this for a little micro fast ride thingy. Let's just weld this chair. Or actually um, this gun is quite large and has some recoil. Of course, it has some recoil. So uh, we might want to have some brakes, actually. And um, we are going to choose to break uh, these wheels because I want to. Let's choose another model so we are not confused. OK, we can press it there. Oh, like that. Bam, bam, and the third time. And then we want to activate this by pressing the alternative button, because that's in us button uh, quite close to the throttle button, which is kind of, well, logical. So we press Alt, and it's welded, welded, whoops. Blah, like this. Welded, welded. Oh, right, we must be in the pod controller, of course. Okay. Welded, not welded. Welded, not welded. Okay. Hold W, hold space. Forward! Press alternative. Brakes. These brakes are slow, but they're only kind of designed to um, compensate recoil. So, press A, press W. Press alternative. Press R. Fire once to reload to reload the gun. It's loaded. Fire. 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 As you saw, or you you didn't you might not have saw that, but we hold alternative while firing. And, you know, it has had some recoil, but if we didn't have that, it would have lots of recoil. So, now we want to save this thing. Always save stuff when you build. It's kind of sad if they just, like, remove themselves. Now we want to have armor. So, remove this weld by pressing reload. And now we are going to choose lots of armor parts. This will be really hard if you don't have S props. Get it? I recommend. So, question is, how will this be? I think this is excellent. Um, we can ocoli this. Doesn't really matter. Grar. As you noticed, we haven't ocolided the gun to uh, stuff. That's why it's uh, in this way. And of course, we want to have quite low angles and stuff, because, uh, well, as you might know, ACF is quite advanced, and uh, deflection can happen. So uh, that's why you want this angle on your armor, so that uh, well, shots are deflected on them. And as I said, this tank is very focused on uh, front battling as we don't have a turret um, it will be kind of useless to use uh, when you have enemies in the side and such we want to spawn some smaller plates for the wheels protection and well no collide this will be much simpler so 
let's be placing oops eh. we can put this in a more slightly straighter angle we might want to add uh, visual props that uh, makes it look like we have tracks but that we're going to do later on I haven't seen much ACF tank that uses actual tracks and that's probably because wheels are laggy enough and if you would make tracks I mean it's possible like ball socketing together lots of uh, like these plates in a long row and just yeah have them it uh, it lags quite much and it's kind of useless but it, it's a cool it's cool it's not that it's just uh, well you will probably not have a tank that works very well if you have that kind of tracks so everybody use visual tracks that are just props that looks like they connect the wheels together now we want to choose a long thing good spawn another one of those remove the collisions We will continue trying to make this quite precise. It's quite important that this protects the wheels, because if we don't have any wheels, we can't go anywhere. It makes so much sense. The preciser the armor, the less risk is it to be blown to bits. So that's why we're so exact about this. Okay, now we have the basic armor plates uh, in place. Um, we will have lots of more armor plates. I mean, the second most important ones uh, aren't there yet. So, well, but we will be starting to looking at the uh, armor properties. You probably understand puzzling by this time because this will be puzzling and then uh, lots of armoring in detail but these front armor plates are very important and these also and we will be placing on some armor on them so docility that's health and you can see if we add docility it adds health like that we can check on it and you see here then it gets more health uh, and well has 40, 41 armor um, here, our ammo that we have can penetrate 129mm point blank, like straight, not in an angle, because angle, it might deflect, it gets thicker in the angle. So, And you see the mass increased drastically, and that's basically what armor costs. Um, we might not want too much docility, but we probably want on these basic, these important plates, we might want to have, uh, well, 130, and we might actually be need to uh, sink the, the salty of these armors, because uh, otherwise it will be too heavy. Okay, these are quite heavy plates in the front so we look at these ones and these uh, we also afford to be heavy armor plates however these are only being likely to take a small shot from like above and it will be a very angled shot therefore we can afford to have it much lower like 30 in armor on both we are not very likely to get shots from behind so we will have quite low 30 armor on this also it's just so we can take like machine gun shots from behind without dying here we can see we have this it should have some armor like 50 and it will be considerably more heavy so we need to change the, the salty to go through the ACF very fast 
explosive shells um, damage health and armor piercing shells uh, penetrate armor so therefore you want to have heavy quite much armor so that they can deflect shells but you also want some health um, in case uh, explosive shells doesn't deflect on the armor because the uh, the armor is also damaged and the health is damaged so this uh, base plate has quite low armor and yeah we set it to 230 at least um, it will be a bit heavier we have a little less health um, I think we can afford it to put it to uh, 5000 or something should be good it will if it hits uh, if we get shot on it it will be very angled like yeah and it's good if they jump somewhere else basically we just changed the weight a little bit to have little armor on these ones if they got uh, shots in the side it might deflect them so however wheels are very easily damaged by high explosive shells so watch out that's uh, kind of a tip for many acf wars aim on their wheels it can be effective however this tank is um, extra vulnerable to getting shot uh, off the wheels as we don't have a turret the whole tank is the turret if you so say now we want to be mounting some of them by taking multi-parent check to see this is checked not anything else should be um, well mark all these armor parts we have placed so far and then after that we right click on our gate and now we have some basic armor on this tank and we can see that the tank thinks it's quite front heavy we might want to move this uh, armor part as the wheels here go through and that's not too good but we could also make the wheels heavier to make them more stable oh god damn it the tank disappeared what the fuck I don't know what happened that's why we save things and well now we don't have much armor on this unfortunately but uh, well I've showed you how to armor stuff so I'm just going to shame look if this still works oh the no collide um, seems to have forgotten itself let's just no collide these wheels like that much better okay so basically it works um, I need to replace the armor as I don't know what happened I've, I, I don't think this has happened before um, it's a bit weird, it's kind of tiresome, but that's why you always save. Advanced Duplicator, you always save. Uh, I will be armoring this tank all over again, but it's useless to record that. Um, I mean, I, I already showed you how to, yeah, do that so you know how to do that. And I will do it again. So, and then I will show you when the tank is done, so you can see how we are made this build so hang on okay so uh, now it's done or the body's done I put on the armor and I've applied armor settings and it took some time but I'm well I think the body turned out quite cool and well now it's armored and these are the two heavy frame front plates they are hundred and hundred and these are also 100 and well 
These are also 100. These are 20, as the angle of expected fire will be quite low. Uh, same with this one. Also, the sides are 20, 20, 20, 20. This large top plate is also 20. And here in the back, I forgot that one. Well, let's be putting... Uh, We make that 20 also. That's heavy enough. And these are 50. Um, I don't really know why, they just are now. And we don't really expect fire in the back, it's just so that we can take machine gun um, from behind and to the sides, but uh, we're not really... Well, it's made for taking the heavy blows in the front, as you will face the enemy as the cannon is uh, fixed, or not fixed, but it's uh, it has not a cannon turret. And I decided to put the seat there and make a little um, thing, like seat thing. Um, I thought that, well... It maybe is better to have the seat uh, like in the vehicle and then have uh, a camera instead. But I wanted to have a little bit of realism or something like that. I thought it was cool. But maybe you want to remove that if... Uh, well, it's not really protected from uh, flight attacks. But anyways, the whole tank isn't um, adapted for flight attack. If somebody has uh, extended... Um, ACF, XCF, and uh, bombs this, well, you're kind of dead. This is a front battle kind of that tank. So, we will anyways uh, be putting some tracks on, or I show you how to make tracks. Like this. To have some tracks, we kind of want thin tracks or something, I don't know. Um, and we just want to spawn regular, like, these types of things. Um, how good is this one? Something like that. And then, yeah, it's long enough. We want uh, three more. Basically, um, we collide these uh, when we build. And, well, as I said, the tracks are purely visual. Everybody's using visual tracks, so... We will be doing it for this tank also. Like that. And these we can have a bit up also. And uh, we should be putting this a bit down. Then we're going to choose a nice material. S props, rubber. Yeah, that will do. We'll put the rubber material. And also, you can add uh, like um, parts of uh, tubes. That is like half. I can show you one of them. Um, you know where it is, you know, uh, tubes, like a half, like, and then you can wrap it round the wheel also if you want, but I don't feel like that, so. Then you take your parenting tool, and you should be check um, disable collisions, it's important. And yeah, we can also disable the shadows, because, well, I think there might be some glitch if we don't, I'm not sure. Then we just mark this, and we right-click on our parenting gate, and it should be fine. However, now we want to parent the whole stuff, because nothing of this is uh, parented. Um, firstly, I will be putting on materials that are in my taste of this tank. And here we have a extra deflecting plate. And also there, this one I think we have actually forgot to armor. Um, yes, we have. We shall be putting 50 armor. 
this um, no we will be put hundred on this also but it will we don't need any facility on it actually actually it should be enough with uh, 70 um, this is just because uh, if somebody should like uh, tear up this plate and continue inside the tank it would be kind of devastating if uh, somebody hit the ammo box so that's why we have that like something like that now we will just be recoloring some stuff and we will choose a darker color for the guns and that's nice and yeah that's nice okay like that now we shall parent the thing so uh, remember do not check set weight disable collisions um, yeah why not disable shadows I mean the shadows isn't it's not that pretty so um, basically if you don't check a no collide then you need to area copy but I always area copy and well the less constraints the better so also before we just area copy this that's shift right click you need advanced duplicator too but I guess you know that just say you that tank you never know what happens when you parent something so do remember do not parent any ACF components and this is already welded to the gun and well we can't remove that uh, we can't parent that I mean because then the gun is also stuck like this also do not parent the base plate because that would suck then you would remove all constraints um, which would be devastating and you would have to make everything over from uh, over again if you haven't saved it so well, save it before parenting if something uh, gets wrong basically you never know so this is no we forgot that little part okay I think this is that we now parent everything by right clicking the parenting gate it's a regular gate but it's the gate we only use for parenting stuff on um, also now I um, this is a window yeah that's okay so now it should be working we just unfreeze it um, and well see there we seem to have uh, forgot to uh, well well the seat or parent the seat let's just uh, due to uh, some weird uh, settings on uh, some servers we just weld the seat um, because well some servers have special rules that uh, makes it not very good if you have a parented seat you basically die in it very fast so okay it might be so that our engines are too weak for this tank now. Uh, mobility, gearboxes. This is a transfer case, of course. Um, large. And now we're going to lower this to zero. Five. We halve it again and see if we can take the weight now. It will be slow. No, we don't. We try to make this. Then we halve it again by uh, changing these ones. Okay. We probably need to change engines or make a much lighter armor. Okay. 
now we have a balanced balanced it up it's uh, just a bit slow now <laughs> very slow but anyhow we have a working tank well I think this uh, in the end got quite cool even though uh, we have a bit weak engines I think this is a quite cool tank fire it's very retro and we just aim by doing this lower a bit like there and also I shall show you uh, the wiring for the screen which I haven't done this is ammo we connect to our ammo box which is mentions and then we connect B to well shots left which is basically our magazine because this is an autoloader so this is very heavy shots um, that we can fire quite fast however now it needs time to reload because there are eight shots in this type of ammo magazine so okay now we are just going to install some other engines and that will be quite easy and straightforward it's basically the same thing it's basically the same thing we've done before we will first place the engine in place and then link them up to the old components and make sure that they are wired um, that they are linked to the gearboxes correctly and so start with linking that gearbox other gearbox that gearbox other gearbox Oi. other gearbox like that and then weld them wire tool throttle activate activate throttle on throttle gate and as this has a tendency to remove itself today we are going to save this thing so um, the tank removed itself too many times so I've just uh, well respawned the map um, what I have done which I didn't record I have connected all this block with slaver settings um, so that this is one block this is this to this this to this this to this and this to that like um, so all sides are now connected because it seemed to be uh, better on this tank because I get uh, it seems to work better with this tank it was just I built a tank before that uh, had problem turning and then I removed the front wheels from the ball socket block um, and then it moved better but I guess it's a bit individual with the different tanks however um, we have now built this tank and I think I'm quite happy about the result it's quite cool actually uh, even though it's so simple so um, the total weight which is you press reload with this tool is now 34 tons so it's not a very heavy tank but it's uh, well quite heavy but it's a front focused tank however so well I hope I am I hope that you like this tutorial and I well I hope I will be seeing you in the future uh, on my channel and well thank you very much for watching and we will be uh, seeing each other in next video I hope so well 
Hope you liked this tutorial. Well, please like this video if you did. So, Jimonism out. If anyone is left, we are going to check how this tank does, uh, well, if it would battle itself. So I just forgot to, whoops, crap, I kind of did not wire this, um, or I did, but uh, then it, yeah, whatever. I want to see how much ammo I have. Shots left. We make the retro name cassette tank. I don't know why, it felt good. Okay, so we're going to see how this tank does to itself basically. Okay, forward, turn, damn it, not so fast. We will now try front hit, so brake, turn a bit. Okay, reload it. Yeah, that's good. You could see that bounced off. That also. It's quite it's quite heavy armor actually. And that one was actually a hit. We must be checking in weapons here. Um oh, cutting torch. Like most of the armor, yeah, it was not very much damaged actually. It seems to be taking fire from well, regular uh, autoloader cannon quite good. However, it really likes to remove itself. Hmm. However, Question is, what will happen if we hit it in the side? Okay. Fire! Okay, load. <laughs> Damn it. Fire! Fire! We can hold brakes actually. Fire! Okay. Fire! Haha! Ooh! That's an explosion! The ammo box went! Well! Okay, now we had a little testing. Frontal! It can take quite much, and that's what it's built for. But sideways. Just a few shots and it was all dead. So, well, that's that. Thank you for those who were watching uh, this little test out part. And, well, subscribe if you like my channel and well, like the video if you liked it. So, Jimodism out.